Hello and welcome here to Talking FCB and welcome back to the channel here for another video. And basically, guys, this is a video that I didn't have planned, I didn't really anticipate doing, but based on recent events and basically based on a match that happened today, I have decided to do this video. Now, you probably know the sort of direction that I'm going in. Portugal were in action earlier on today in the European Championships. It's the decisive day today of the group stages. Everything is decided today and then will be put forward into the knockout rounds, which starts on Saturday. And basically, the scenario was for Portugal that if they lost to Hungary they would leave the European Championships without a single win and they would be eliminated from the tournament. As it happened the game ended 3-3 and they qualified based on a new rule which is brought in this year that allows the best placed third teams to qualify for the knockout round even though in any usual championship Portugal would have been eliminated. So it's quite lucky that Portugal this year finished third and not any other year because they would have been eliminated under usual rules. Rulings. Now what happened in the game was Hungary took the lead 1-0 and basically Hungary kept taking the lead and what happened was Cristiano Ronaldo scored his first goals of the tournament, he scored a fantastic back heeled goal and he scored a very very good header and he also made the assist for Nani. So quite frankly Ronaldo in this game was decisive, he was the man that, that made things happen for Portugal, he was on the end of things and his goals made sure they drew the game today. What I have a problem with then is people saying just because of this one game, Port uh, Ronaldo is now the saviour of Portugal. Ronaldo is now the hero of the tournament because quite simply that is wrong. That is a complete failure because what has happened is in the first two games of this group, Ronaldo nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen against Austria, nowhere to be seen against Iceland. And that's the problem that I have. It's not the fact that people are praising Ronaldo because like I say, I think he's had a great game today. He scored two very good goals. He the reason probably that they drew this game. But the question you should be asking is exactly the same question you should have been asking a few years ago, when everyone was doing exactly the same thing and they were going crazy when Ronaldo scored that hat-trick against Sweden, which took, which took Portugal to the World Cups. That question that should have been asked at that point was, why did Ronaldo, if he's the saviour of Portugal, allow it to get that far? Why was why were Portugal even playing in a World Cup qualifier? Why did they not qualify outright in the group stage if it was for Ronaldo being so fantastic? And the same applies today. Why are Portugal even in this position? Why are they third in their group, in a group with Hungary, Austria, and Iceland, why are they third in their group relying on a point from their last game to qualify if Ronaldo is so inspirational, if he's so integral to that team that he can make things happen on his own, why has it got this far? I've got no problem with people praising Ronaldo for his performance today, but what I do have a problem with is people now saying because they finished third in their group, he is the hero. And that's ridiculous, it really is. And what I now want to do is, let's turn our attention to Lionel Messi, and I'm going to talk about the difference and the quite significant significant difference in the expectation level of Ronaldo and the expectation level of Messi. Now, in my personal opinion, there is no comparison anymore. There hasn't been for a while. There shouldn't be any comparison between the two because Lionel Messi is outright the best player in the world. But people do continue to make the comparisons. So what you're trying to say is that Messi and Ronaldo are on the same level. That's the kind of comparison that people try to portray. If that's the case, why is the expectation level not the same? Why is Cristiano Ronaldo lauded and really appreciated for Portugal scraping through tournaments? He got Portugal to the World Cup. People were going crazy. In the World Cup, they did nothing. And now he's got them finishing third in a very, very easy group. And again, people are going crazy. Whereas Lionel Messi, he got Argentina to the World Cup final against Germany and lost it. That was considered a failure. He got Argentina to the last Copa American final against Chile. They lost it on penalties. That was considered a failure. So why has Messi got to go and win these tournaments on his own, whereas Ronaldo can simply qualify Portugal, and that's enough to see him get hero status? And the first thing that then people will say is, oh, well, Messi is in a better team, Portugal have got no players, Ronaldo is carrying this team on his own. What absolute rubbish. I am going to quite openly admit, no problem at all, that Argentina do have a better team. Lionel Messi is playing in a better national team than Cristiano Ronaldo. That's fair enough. But there is not a huge huge, huge gulf that people are letting on. Look at the FIFA World Rankings. Argentina, top of the FIFA World Rankings, number one. Portugal, eighth. Eighth in the FIFA World Rankings. Now, quite frankly, the FIFA World Rankings 
sometimes can be absolutely ludicrous, so I wouldn't take an awful lot from that, but I'm just trying to say there is not the huge gulf in quality. Let's just have a look at Portugal's team. Considering they've got no good players, considering Ronaldo's got to carry this team on their own, they do have a great number of players who play at very good clubs, who've made a lot of appearances for the Portuguese national team, and there's certainly some very, very good players in there, considering Ronaldo is all on his own. Like I say, I've got no problem with that he's in a better team, that Argentina are the, one of the best teams in the world internationally, but Portugal are no minnow. They're not a small team. They've got very good players. You look at their goalkeeper, Rui Patricio, not an awful lot of difference between him and Sergio Romero. You look at their left-back, Guero, who's on his way to Borussia Dortmund. They've got Pepe, who plays with Ronaldo at Real Madrid. They've got William Carvalho in midfield, one of the most um, uh, you know, prized assets in terms of young players in the game these days. He's been linked with every club under the sun. You've got João Moutinho, who plays at Monaco, who again has been linked with many big clubs over the years. One of the, a very, very consistent midfielder, João Mario. He's a player that's emerging in Portuguese football. Uh, Andre Gomez, Chelsea just had a thirty-two million pound bid rejected by Valencia. Again, one of the very, very bright talents in this team. Nani, who's coming to form again now, he's back in the Turkish division. He's, he's there, he's been playing his football over the past season, he's been really good and he's also been good at these European Championships. Then you've got Ronaldo himself, you look at the bench, they've got the likes of Renato Sanchez on the bench, just signed for Bayern Munich for over 30 million. You look at Ricardo Kresma, and there's just these players on the bench that you just think, you know, Bruno Alves, very, very experienced defender. And you just look and you think, OK, fair enough, it's not as good as Argentina's team is. But that, that's not a minnow. That's not a small team. That's not a team without any talent. That is a team there that's capable of doing something in a major tournament. And by the way, Cristiano Ronaldo has never won anything with Portugal. The closest he's got to a title is the home tournament that he had with Portugal, where they got to the final and lost to Greece 1-0. How is that not considered a failure? And then you look at Lionel Messi. Anything that he does is scrutinised in. He basically took Argentina to the World Cup final on his own. And I really do mean that because he did not get a lot of help. It's different to the Argentinian team now. Now you've got Higuain performing. You've got Di Maria performing. You've got players, a structured defence. You've got a good midfield. In the World Cup, that Argentina team was really, really laboured. Messi scored in all the group games. He scored the decisive goal against Iran where it never to God looked like Argentina were going to win that game. In the group stage, uh, in the knockout stage, people would come out with the line of, oh, well, he didn't even score. He made the decisive pass, the crucial pass to Di Maria against Switzerland without it, Argentina wouldn't have gone through. And I just want to talk about simply the difference in expectations, the difference in standards between these two. Because if a lot, like a lot of people do, if you want to put them on the same pedestal, if you want to compare them directly, why are they not treated the same in terms of expectations? Portugal are, are just about scraping through their matches and Lionel Messi is on his way to the Copa America final. And on that subject... Let's just take a look at some stats for you. And I've got some very, very interesting information here. In the three games that Cristiano Ronaldo has played for Portugal, he's played every minute of every game in this European Championships. So that's 270 minutes that he's played. He's played three games. He's scored two goals and he's got one assist. All of that from today's game, by the way. So in the other two games, no contribution at all from Cristiano Ronaldo. In the games that Messi has played uh, with Argentina in this Copa America, and by the way, he came into this Copa America struggling for fitness, coming off the back of an injury. He's played less minutes than, than Cristiano Ronaldo. He's played just 254 minutes. But in those games, he scored five goals and got four assists. And like I say, Argentina on their way to the Copa America final. And then people will come up with a line of, oh, well, you know, look who he's playing in the Copa America. There's no opponents there. Look at what Ronaldo's had to come up against in the Euros. Let's have a look, shall we? In the Euros, Ronaldo has had to come up against Iceland, a country with just over 300,000 people. That is all. They're through to the knockout stages. Austria and Hungary. Those are the three teams which Cristiano Ronaldo has had to take on. Lionel Messi has had to take on Panama. Fair enough. Not the highest of opponents. Venezuela. Very, very good team in this Copa America. Knocked out Uruguay. And the USA. One of the biggest countries and most powerful countries in the world. They're growing. Their influence in football is growing. They've had a very, very good Copa America. And they've got some very, very good players. They were also the host nation. And last night, Lionel Messi took them apart. And quite frankly, there is no comparison. Not on any level. 
level, not club, not domestically, and certainly not internationally. It doesn't matter if you say that Argentina have a better team. What Lionel Messi has done with them, what he's done in the past few years in terms of taking his team to the final, and I will be so, so happy when he gets to that Copper America final on Sunday, when he sets out his stall, and when they finally win a trophy. I really hope it happens, because he deserves it. Meanwhile, Ronaldo will take on Croatia. They've got a big, big game. If they come through that, fair enough. Good luck to them. Well done. But I'm not sure they're going to do it. We're going to have to wait and see. But I just wanted to talk about the difference in expectations, because some people look at it and they don't really understand it why all this fuss is made, and I don't either. Because quite frankly, there's a little bit of difference between the national teams, there's a little bit of a golfing class, but Portugal are still capable of winning tournaments. They're still capable of going further, not just clinging on to these results and scraping through to the knockout rounds. So leave me your thoughts down below, guys. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of opinions on this and a lot of contrasting opinions as well. So leave me your thoughts. If you do agree, let me know. If you do disagree, then also let me know as well. I'm open to opinions, I'm open to arguments, I'm open to discussions. Just let me know down below. So thanks as always for watching this video guys i appreciate all your comments all your thoughts and all your views as well thanks for watching i'll be back very very soon but until then as always vesca el barça, barça.